<laughs> Sorry, I've barely even spoken today. It's really late. It's like 11 o'clock in the morning. I woke up so late today. I can't film because it's raining so hard and it will pick up on the sound. So I thought I would just vlog because it's a little bit more casual. But I had such a hard time sleeping last night for a number of reasons. One of them was I was having such bad nightmares and I've been taking this cough medicine. Um, has, what's the, what's the name of it? Codeine? Yeah. And it's supposed to make you sleep or make you not have that like cough you know, the urge to cough, and I don't know that it really works on my cough, it just makes me sleep. You guys know, I guess if you watch my channel, you know, I love Jurassic Park. I just think that's such a good movie, like all of them, Jurassic World, like the whole thing, and I'm really into it, and I, I like it, I think because like I know that's not gonna happen, and I can't be scared of it, yet that's what my dream was about. It was like my life, but you know how when you have a dream, it's like your life, but not your life, you know what I mean? It was in my house and in my room, it was home, but my bed was like on a different side of the room and it was like a bit of a different layout and like there was a person that I know in the dream. Someone who I knew from childhood who like, I wouldn't say is in my life anymore, I think we follow each other on social media. But he was in the dream as if we were still best friends as kids. And just all these weird things were happening, these dinosaurs were coming to life and we were like, I, mean, I couldn't tell even where we were, I felt like we were in like a big mall and like in a back room hiding from like, these dinosaurs and like, I was like, everyone sit still and they won't even know we're here. It was so weird, I could feel myself waking up throughout the night having a hard time breathing and like being scared. And that wasn't fun, <laughs> but I told you guys in my last vlog that I was sick, so this month, this past month, February, um, has really sucked for me. Uh, I feel like all I do is complain. I first sprained my ankle, which you guys know about, and then it brought up my plantar fasciitis, so my heel hurt even more than my ankle. And then I got sick, so I went to urgent care and I got a prescription. I got an antibiotic and a, like a Z-Pack or something for five days, and then I also got that cough medicine because my cough was just so bad and he said I had a respiratory infection which is just like a really bad cold kind of like the flu. I took the Z-Pack and I finished up and on the last day that I was supposed to take it my chest started having really bad chest pain in it and it almost felt like heartburn which I get a lot. I have like I'm like an old lady. I get heartburn and stuff like that. I would normally take like an antacid for that like a Zantac or something like that but I couldn't take that while I was on the antibiotic because it said like don't take it within two hours or the antibiotic won't like go into your system the right way. So I had to wait to take it. So I took the the anti antacid the next day and it didn't do anything. And usually antacid for me works in like a half hour. And so I was getting really concerned and it was hurting a lot more. It hurts way worse when I breathe in really deep or when I laugh and then also it hurts when I cough, which I still have a cough. It's definitely not as bad as it was, not at all. Like it was, I was coughing up mucus, it was horrible before. So now it's more of a dry cough, it happens a couple times a day, but I don't think it would be as bad if I didn't have this pain. It would just be like, I'm getting over, it's like a residual cough from being sick. But now anytime I cough, even like, <clears throat> like clearing my throat, it kills. Like it feels like there is a knife like lodged right here. And I thought like I had cracked a rib or something like that. So it felt like I had a cracked rib like all the way up under here. And I couldn't understand the pain. So I looked it up. Dick, you're not supposed to. But I definitely self-diagnosed what I have because it was so obvious. It's called pleurisy, pleuritis or something. I'll put it on the screen. Apparently it's super easy for doctors to diagnose because it's so specific, such a specific pain. And it's in your lung. So there's something in, uh, right underneath your lung called the pleura. And if that gets so infected with um, liquid, then it starts to have this pain. Apparently it's super common right after you've had an infection like I had or heard the flu or pneumonia or something, but it also could be like cancerous and it can have so much fluid there that it can make your lung collapse. So I'm getting a little nervous. I don't wanna get a needle shoved up in here and like pull the fluid out, but it said that if you are sick, like if, if it's based off of just bacteria or an infection, you should be able to take antibiotics and it should go away. But I already was on antibiotics. Now it said, you know, take ibuprofen and hopefully it'll go away. <laughs> I don't know what to do at this point. Like it is so bad. I can't even like sleep like or move. Like even right now, if I stopped breathing for a minute, I, it's like if I turn my body this way, I crack my back or like in my sleep when I move around or readjust, it hurts. That's super fun. Literally this whole month I've just been falling apart. But I've been doing a lot of work on YouTube so I'm super excited about that. And I've been doing a lot of videos lately. So I've literally, so right now it is March 1st, 2nd? 
Oh my god, I don't even know. I have videos scheduled through the end of April, so I'm pretty proud of that. I know a lot of you don't like that I pre film. I don't like it sometimes too because I don't want to wait that long. If I could just uh, like film all these videos and upload them every day, I would, but that's like overkill. I love a lot of the videos I'm posting. I'm posting some really, really, really serious videos coming up soon. I also have a haul and I'm so excited about that. I have another haul coming soon. I'm waiting for some stuff in the mail to film it, but uh... I started this channel with hauls. If you guys have been watching me since way back, like four years ago, this channel started with me doing hauls like every time I filmed a video. It was like haul after haul, whether it was fashion or drugstore beauty or something. So I just made a nice big Amazon order, so I'm excited about that. And in Influencer, you guys know I got the L'Oreal Extraordinary Clay set. I did that whole review and I won like their like the people who got that set, like I won out of them and I'm getting a whole bunch of other L'Oreal products soon. So that's exciting. And yeah, I don't know, I'm just like super excited about a lot of stuff coming soon. But let me know, still keep always request videos if you wanna see me talk about a certain subject or anything like that. And so yeah, this is a 10 minute clip. Oh my God, this vlog, this isn't gonna be like a nice music film vlog. It's gonna be me literally just talking with no makeup on. Just wanted to give you an update. I'm gonna finish watching that movie Seven Pounds with um, Will Smith, it's really good. And then I'll get back to you later, maybe. This video's gonna be so long. Okay, bye. Why is she lying like that? She's such a little weirdo. Let's see if she knows. What are you doing? Look at you. Look at this cat. <laughs> okay, so I kind of changed my mind. I didn't feel like vlogging today because I'm not doing too much interesting stuff, but I thought since I do want to talk to you about some stuff, I would do a little tiny get ready with me. I'm not going anywhere, so I'm just doing like, the minute amount of makeup. Let's have a little chit chat as I get ready. I just completely blanked on all the things I want to talk about. The only place I really have to go, I'm going to bring my mom a coffee at work. So one of the things I want to talk about was... I don't know if you guys saw it, I posted it on Instagram like last week, last Tuesday I think, but Magic Links, I don't know if you guys know what that is unless you're like a YouTuber, but uh, Magic Links is a website that kind of links you with retailers so that if someone buys something by clicking on your link, like you drew them there, you get a commission. And it's not big, it's like, you know, it's a tiny little percentage, but like it's very helpful for someone like me especially because I obviously don't make that much money from YouTube, like ads and stuff, because I don't have that many viewers. So that's the kind of thing that really helps me out. Someone reached out to me to be featured as their like featured user, and that was so awesome. So I was their featured user. They sent out an email like linking to the interview they did with me. They posted it like, on Facebook and Twitter, and I shared the link to it on my Twitter, and I will link it below. It's just like, a brief little interview that they asked me a couple questions about YouTube, like why I started my channel, and just like a a couple other questions that I find, found really interesting and I love doing interviews. I just find them so interesting. Like you guys know I could talk forever so answering interview questions is like, you know, my favorite thing. If you want to read it, I'd really appreciate it. But I was really excited about that. It was just like even though nothing really came of it, it's still just like, you know, it's exciting to know that someone is recognizing you and like likes your videos or notices you. Like it's just nice to have that. It's not gonna like change your life but it's nice and kind of just like a little bit of like a confidence boost so I think that's kind of what I got out of that. Also, what is wrong with my face today? I have all this dry skin on my forehead and my makeup like isn't blending. So that's a shame. What the heck? I think it's my concealer actually because my CC cream went on fine. It was just this concealer that went all weird. That's so annoying. Well, that's gross. So now I just hope no one gets close to my face. These signs I have on my wall. One says, happy girls are the prettiest. I think it's Audrey Hepburn quote. And the other one says, avoid reality at all costs. And I think that those quotes are just like funny and cute and whatever. But yeah, so I think that they look stupid. Like I DIY'd them a while back and I just don't like them anymore. But I was thinking about painting them white and then taking maybe like they're both pretty much big enough to have like three square photos on them so if I have any photos of like from Instagram or something I might just like do that but I'll show you guys what those things look like probably on like a snapchat or my Instagram story so make sure you're following me there if you want to see like random stuff I do like DIYs and food and stuff and I've been using this mascara for a day <laughs> I've been using it I hated the last sensational on the pink bottle when it came out it just sucked it get really really sucked but I, I love rubber bristle brushes and I wanted something from Maybelline so I got the last sensational luscious the one with the oil in it because I thought maybe it would help with my stupid horrible lashes and I like it it actually holds a curl and it's pretty easy to remove 
but my only issue is because it's such a wet formula clumps really bad on me so what I did is I took my um, L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes rubber bristle brush and cleaned it off it was really difficult and I'm just going to use this to comb through my lashes after this and see what happens because I did that yesterday but this still had leftover like stale product on it and it was getting all flaky and disgusting so we're going to try that now and then I think I'm going to head out see it's so clumpy I mean, there's just not enough bristles on this brush that didn't do anything oh my god this is so annoying i was trying to watch annie hall while i was doing some stuff on the computer before it's really freaking boring i don't know if you guys have seen it it's like a classic i just could not get into it i found it to be so unbelievably boring okay someone please explain why my left lashes always look better than my right ones okay i don't know if i'm gonna keep filming today maybe you'll have a clip or two but probably not because i'm just feeling mighty lazy <laughs> I just had a coughing fit. I literally just had this little tiny urge to cough and it like, I literally felt like I was breaking a rib or something. It was so bad. My cats were staring at me like I was dying. I was like rolled over on the floor and like it wasn't even the cough. It was like the pain. That's so bad. But like, my nose is running. I'm crying. It's, it's really glamorous. Um, but so I want to show you. I'm trying to do this craft. I'm not very good at crafting. I don't have Mod Podge, so I can't finish it today. But I painted both the signs white. You can still kind of see through them. I might have to do another coat. I'm running out of paint. But so one of them is going to have those three pictures. And then on the other one, vertically, I was going to do this. My laptop. I was going to do something like this. Can you see that? I wanted like a New Jersey like typography map. But I don't like this one. Like the fonts are all weird. And it's only like a fine, but I have to find something else. Even if it was just like an outline, I just want to do something simple that I wasn't going to like, like, not like. But maybe when I go to the store to get Mod Podge, they'll have something like that. 